And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIP SoundLab.com, and we're back on Machine 2.4, the NKS integration update. I just got another member request video. I had a member who was wanting to know how to get the plugin scanned in the correct way. What happens is, you know, if somebody out there is having the same problem where your instruments are getting really, really crowded over here from saving your NKS file formats. And for someone who doesn't understand what that is, for example, if I click on, let's say my beast mode virtual here, which is a plugin under the information icon. This is just something I was uh, tagging and filtering or whatever. You, you notice how the plugins show up as an NKS F file. Okay. A type NKS F meaning that that's an NKS instrument. You know, you can browse all the, the settings from your machine, hardware controller, machine studio, you know, for deeper integration, you know, whatever. I mean, you guys pretty much are familiar with that by now. But what happens is, okay, for example, your instruments are arranged in categories such as sampled instruments, synthesizers. A lot of plugins are in no categories. Um, a lot of instruments, you know, if you don't have the artwork, you can, you know, create your own custom artwork, which is basically what I'm doing down here, just messing around with some artwork. And I'm going to upload a template on the site. You know, if you guys want these templates for, you know, image line, you know, linear digital, things like that. Okay. So when you save your presets, what happens is it's saving those presets as NKS formats. For example, if I click on Nexus here, you see right there, it says NKS file format. Then it has the author name, uh, which is me. I made that little preset, um, you know, our effects is a manufacturer. And then what happens is it has like a duplicate of the instrument icon here. Okay. This is the actual plugin here. So just don't get confused. You know, like this, this here would be, you know, a preset that you saved. Okay. And you know, you tag and filter that and things of that nature. So yeah, that's one thing I didn't like on the 2.4 update. Cause that can get a little crowded, but I can show you how you can, you can uh, resolve that situation also. So for example, let's do the plugin question first. Okay. Let's say for example, anything that you save over here, well, I should say over here under your NKS icon, for example, if you use a Mark one, for example, you know, you can double click here or you, or you can use this little icon here and this will load your plugin. What happens is when you save that preset, it's going to show up over here under your user library. Okay. So, so that no one gets confused on that. I'm going to show you what I mean right here. Let's okay. I have Nexus open here. I am just playing around making a, uh, a loop with a rather unorthodox time signature, I guess you can say, but that's one of the cool things about machine. You can loop anywhere in your scenes and the patterns as I'm doing here. All right. So right here, I was playing Jay Z's lost one, for example. All right. So let's say if I wanted to use this MIDI pattern, over here on a different instrument. Okay. You know, you can take your MIDI icon here and drag it. Now, one thing I was noticing when I was dropping the MIDI here before it wasn't loading, uh, the MIDI, uh, from a previous group onto the new slot. And for me, that was kind of troublesome. So I didn't like how I couldn't just drag it and drop it on there. So what I did was I exported the MIDI, you know, you right click here and you press export MIDI as I did to the desktop, you know, then what you can do is you can come over here, you know, you can right click and then import the MIDI. All right. So let's say I'm over here under my NKS icon. I like that MIDI pattern, but I want to use my Mark one. Okay. So I click here or double click here. doesn't make a difference. All right. So the Mark one comes up. Here's all the attributes. So you notice here, here's some saved presets. In other words, when I click on the information icon right here, the NI sound file, the NKI instrument. Why? Because that is a contact preset. Okay. So it's an NKI, you know, more than likely, I probably got to update this with a, uh, a NKS update for the Scarby Mark one. And I'm imagining the file type should change, but don't quote me on that. Cause I'm not really sure about that to be honest. So, um, anyway, to make a long story short, what happens is, okay, here I am. Here's the Scarby Mark one blue ballad. You know, I'm going to right click. I'm going to import the MIDI file that I exported. Uh, where is that? It's on my desktop. 
Okay, right there, there's the lost one MIDI preset. I'll open that up. Okay, there's the MIDI pattern. Now, when you import MIDI, you have to, you know, adjust the, the time signature, you know, to where you had it before. However, being that I have it looped in the scene uh, right here, it would have looped anyway. So now when I mute this group here, we should just get this MIDI playing on the Scarby Mark 1. Raise it up a little bit. Okay, then if I wanted to blend that in. Which reminds me to update my Nexus too. All right, so yeah, I'm back on this this other computer now. I was you know messing around with some things, so I was getting a lot of questions. All right, so now you're like, okay, so how do I get my, my preset saved? So what you do is you just it works the same as before. You go down here, you go to save as, and what happens is it's going to save over in your uh, your instrument library. Okay, so now I'm gonna press save here. See how that popped in right there. All right, so now what happens is you notice that it doesn't save over here under the NKS icon. It's now over here in the user library. So if I click instruments here, why? Because it's giving you deeper integration now, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, because with the new complete control series, that's what you want. OK, so now when I click here, there's the preset. Now, to the trained eye, you would have seen that anyway, because it's right here where it says piano and keys this here. OK. But you notice how now instead of an NKI file, it's not an NKSN file. Very important. All right. So that gives you the integration, you know, the deeper integration. You know, you want to, you know, browse the base level trouble, you know, and all that good stuff and the hardware controller and all of that. Nine times out of ten, most plugins, these will show up anyway. But a lot of manufacturers are uniting and they are making these pages relevant. You know, you can, you know, tune these pages and, you know, and custom tune them in different ways. But that's another tutorial video. All right, so to the trained eye, I see that because when this is like that, there's no way I would tag anything in my library. It's just piano and keys. I wouldn't do that. You know, I would label this. You know, I would come in here and, and probably edit that. You know, I probably would come in here and, and put, you know, you know, Scarby Mark One, uh, some to that effect, to tag and filter that in a way that makes it more relevant and easier inside the hardware controller, whether the MK1, MK2, or whatever. But that's up to you, you know, so you, you know, I just want to make sure that you guys understood that. All right. So now when I go here, OK, let's say down the road, I don't know, a month, two months, I got tired of, you know, tired of that preset right there, you know, and you go over here. OK, let's say if I, I go like this. I close this out. I go over here, I go to this. And I go over here and I'm like, you know, I'm tired of this preset. Let's say I have a bunch of presets down here, but this is one that I didn't like. So I right click and I deleted it, right? Once select the item will be uh, removed from the library and deleted from the disk. So you're like, okay, cool. No problem. I click that is gone. And you're like, all right, that's out of my library. And you're like, maybe I'm tired of Scarby Mark one. I want to do something else. Then you're like, yo, why is Scarby Mark one still up here? You're like, I erased that joint. And you're like, yo, this thing's still over here. You click there. There's nothing there. You go like this, you're like, why is it doing that? I'm clicking this little arrow here. It's not loading the instrument. That's because this was a, a, a preset that you saved. So now you're like, okay, so now I'm getting all these crowded uh, little things in here. You know, I, I want to take these off. All right. So if you want to clean up, clean up your library, what you do is you go under file, you go to preferences. Okay. You go under uh, plugins. You go to your, to your locations. I'm sorry. This is where you actually scan your, your plugins. I'm getting a little confused here myself. You go under library user. You go down here to what's called your uh, native instruments user content. Okay. Now you can, you know, check it here to scan user content for changes at startup. You know, it's all, it's all preference. You know, that will automatically do it for you. But if you want to do it manually, which is nine times out of 10, what I do, because I don't want to lose anything by mistake, you select rescan here. Updates the database pretty quick. 
So now when you go back over here, you see the Scarby Mark one is now gone. It just cleaned up that library. You know, this MIDI file is still here. You know, you just right click that, you know, you press reset. Boom, that's out of there. Now you're back, you know, to where you was. All right. So I hope that makes sense, you know, to you fam. That's how you can get that library cleaned up, you know, and for your plugin question, you know, well, you just seen that, you know, you go to plugins here, locations. This is where you, you know, add your plugin locations, you know, scan or whatever. I generally just put mine in one uh, spot and those plugins can also, when you're in the 32 bit mode, I believe it's supposed to show your 64 bit uh, plugins as well. And, and vice versa. Now, when you're over on the 64 bit mode, I believe it should show. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. When you're in the 64 bit mode, I don't think it'll show your 32 bit plugins. I think it works the other way around. I think if you're in your 32 bit mode, it'll show your uh, your 64 bit plugins because right there, there's the beast mode virtual red from the VIP sound lab, for example. All right. So I hope I'm not leaving anything out. Uh, let's take a look at some of these here. For example, that's the FL Studio uh, plugin, linear digital. You know, I got some some little presets in here. You know, and again, I'm just getting the artwork uh, taken care of uh, for this. So, you know, if you guys want any of these custom uh, templates, just you know, just come by the website www.vipsoundlab.com. I have a couple of templates on there for you guys. For example, if I jump on a desktop right here, here goes some I'm working on right now. Let me show you the folder here. VIP Sound Lab LLC NKS plugin templates. And for example, here's some plugins that I'm, you know, making some templates out of, you know, just to make, you know, life easier. You know, if you want to have some of the imaging to show up, you know, I'm doing some cakewalk ones here, you know, some FL studio ones here. Let me just view on that. Well, that's probably hard to see, but you get the idea, you know, making some here, you know, some for linear digital, you know, some for slate digital, you know, there's some for the slate, you know, so just some presets, you know what I'm saying? Just to make life, you know, easier when you're in here, you know, you can have everything looking a little more, you know, attractive or whatever. If I go to my N NKS icon, you know, these ones are native instruments ones. Native instruments will always have the, Im the imaging, you know, for theirs out of the box. So any other ones, you're going to have to really, you know, get in there and, and do the work. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to come by the website, www.VIPSoundLab.com for free machine tutorials with no monthly fees. Again, I repeat, no monthly fees. We give away free controller editor templates, session files, uh, image templates, things of that nature, uh, a lot of routing templates, things of that nature, you know, to get you guys set up and get going with a good starting point. <clears throat> and I'm also currently working on some groove templates. I had some VIP members hitting me up. They were wanting to, uh, they were asking, could we make some groove uh, templates? So yeah, man, that's pretty much it for now. And I hope that helps you out, fam. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.